Hey there, I uh, just shooting a quick little video here. Uh, been a lot of discussion about uh, fancy feast stoves, and I was lucky enough to get some bud bottles sent to me. And I just want to show a quick little video here how I uh, cut my bud bottles from my uh, fancy feast stoves. So I've already started uh, actually scribing this one a little bit. Uh, as you can see, I've uh, I've taken off the paint uh, with some uh, steel wool, and uh, I will show you uh, what my process is here. So what I've done is I've taken a couple of pieces of wood, a 2x4 and a, I don't know, that's about a quarter inch piece. And uh, I've put a blade on here from an Alpha knife, uh, you know, these kind of uh, types of blades. And uh, I've secured it down with some washers and a couple of screws and that way I can move it out as the blade gets dull. And it's set at uh, my 2 inches. And basically I just uh, take the bottle and I start turning it. It's a little bit of a slow process, but as long as your blade is sharp, you'll uh, eventually get through. I've already started this one, so uh, hopefully it won't take me too long to, to get through here. You'll feel as you're going around the, uh, the first cut as it goes right through the, the edge or the wall of the bottle. And uh, from that point on, you can pretty much just pinch it off. And there it's gone through, I think, there. The trick is just to make sure you keep your bottle nice and flat. You get a nice clean cut. I'm just going to check it there. Not quite. And the reason I cut uh, from the bottom of the bottle like this is I actually will use the bottle bottom and I will try and cut the bottom out. And uh, oh, that one happened a lot quicker than I thought it was but uh, it was gonna happen but there you go uh, there's the cut let me just go get the piece it went flying away so there you can see nice clean cut and I'll uh, show you what I do with that in a second uh, but now I've got a nice clean edge and uh, I can get uh, I can start on another one here and I just start uh, doing the same process all over again. And you just want to make sure that your pressure goes straight down this way. And uh, you keep your bottle nice and flat. And I'm not sure if you can see that or not, but it does score it. And uh, uh, that's on the way. So, I'll so out here in the garage now, there's my uh, can that I cut. And it's, it's a very clean edge. Just a little bit of a burr around it. And what I have is just some emery cloth. And I just... Uh, Go around the edge like this and file that down and that does a good job and then I'll just take the burr off the top and then on the inside I'll just have a strip of the emery and I'll put it inside and, and uh, you have a very nice uh, very nice uh, edge on that and if there you have it that's how I uh, how I cut my bud bottles so what I've just done is I've uh, I've cut my uh, fiber cloth, fiberglass cloth, and uh, that should fit around. Now this Fancy Feast can, this, I did this one a little different. I ground down the edge on the inside and uh, uh, just trying something a little bit different. And this is my, my line to mark my length for this. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to punch a couple of, one little, couple little holes on the bottom just so that the uh, Fuel can flow a little bit better. Actually, I'll put three in. So what I've done is I've uh, put the wick on here and uh, put a little bit of masking tape to hold it on. And uh, it does seem to slide into the can a little bit easier where uh, because I've ground it off on this one as opposed to just folding it in. And uh, as I push it in there, it goes in nice. I'll play with a little bit try and pull a little bit more wick up or push it down and I think that uh, that's looking not too bad and there we go and what I'll end up doing is uh, going out to the garage and just uh, uh, putting a little hole in the top here just so uh, pressure relief uh, so I don't have any spillovers or anything as it's uh, boiling but uh, there we go uh, one with some fiber cloth. I'll uh, do one with uh, my header wrap next. 
So what I've done is I've uh, put my header wrap around my uh, bud bottle and uh, got her secured so hopefully when it slides in it doesn't uh, lift up too much. It's a little snug. I find the header wrap is a little bit snugger than fiberglass cloth. I'm just going to try and keep it down a little bit even. Put it over. push. Again, it's uh, it's not perfect, but uh, it's there. And uh, I'm just going to take my clippers here and just clip a little bit off. So what I will do is, uh, like one thing I said that I like to do is end up putting in a little hole just to vent. So what I've done is I've gone and uh, put uh, two cups of water in each of my pots, uh, my min GSI Minimalist and my uh, 60 ounce beer can. Uh, I have some heat. Um, I'm, I'm just going to burn it off. Uh, So I've got one ounce of heat in each stove. Oh, that was hot. Put the lids on. And let's see how we get a how we get a burn. Turn that off. Give you a bit of a view of the blossom. So again, these are the two stoves that I've just made. And uh, the one on the left uh, with the GSI Minimalist on it has uh, the uh, fiberglass cloth. And the one on the right with the uh, beer cam pot has uh, header wrap. One ounce of fuel heat and two cups of water in each tap water again. Again, nothing scientific, so leave that on there. So at you know 6:30 we've got a boil happening with the minimalist. Now just let that continue to boil out. 639 she's rolling oil 45 seconds so let's say 715 and rolling at 720 so there we go so we'll just let those continue to burn see how long they burn for and it looks like we're getting near the end for the uh, beer can pot as well so 